<sighs> so after many months of dealing with um, shipping issues and parts availability and COVID issues regarding how fast I could get parts and all of those types of things, uh, the vinyl wrapping on this truck is going to start on Monday. Cannot, cannot, cannot wait. I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am to get this thing done. Um, obviously, the bed is off. Uh, it's a lot easier to, the bed's right here on my little dolly, to wrap the back of the bed and the back of the cab with the bed off. So um, I will tell you, this truck is so badass. It is so badass. Five inch drop in the back, five inch drop in the rear. You can't really see it in the rear until the bed is on, but the stance on this truck is so cool. Um, LS, power, Holly Sniper fuel injection, uh, vintage air, air conditioning and heat. Um, all of the brakes, suspension, um, uh, everything basically underneath is from CPP. Uh, even dressed it up with these nice panels right here that cover the hole that would typically be in that in that section. Um, what I'm planning on doing for this truck is everywhere you see primer or basically all the body panels are going to be a satin black, um, satin black on the exterior. And then the trim is going to get a gloss black. So the front bumper will be a gloss black. And then there are some trim pieces that go around the headlights and go in the grill that are going to be a gloss. And then over on the table here, I have everything set up. There are these little C10 badges that go on the fenders. Those are going to get a gloss black. The Chevy emblem for the front is going to get a gloss black. These grill inserts will get a gloss black and the headlight bezels will, will get a gloss black. So um, I will document the process. Um, I'm told it takes about a week to do a job like this with the vinyl wrap. It's only a one person team that's coming. So um, that'll be the next video. Cannot wait to get this thing done and get it on the road. I've driven it around a little bit just so the computer can sort of learn what it has to learn about the power, the engine, all that, all that kind of stuff. But I haven't really gotten it on the road yet just because it's sort of awkward to drive it without the bed. There are no taillights or anything, so I really can't have it on the road. So I am looking so much forward to getting this out there and uh, getting it uh, in, in front of you guys.